So welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best foods that you can be eating today to optimize your brain health. In our last video, we talked about the key nutrients that are important to optimizing your brain health. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the top 10 foods that you can eat today to improve your brain health. So let's get into it. So we've covered how important nutrients are to brain health. Not only the key nutrients we covered in our last video, but also all of the nutrients. And we need all micronutrients and minerals to support optimal health, especially brain health. And so in this video, we're gonna be covering some of the foods that you can be eating to help support optimal brain health. Starting with blueberries. So blueberries are probably one of the best foods that you can eat for your brain health. They contain powerful antioxidants that keep the brain from negative effects of oxidative stress. And blueberries have been shown to reduce the incidence of diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Blueberries have also been shown to improve motor skills and learning capacity. And you can find blueberries in many forms and eat them fresh, frozen, or even freeze dried. The recommended amount of blueberries to support your brain health is to eat at least one cup of blueberries every day. And research that was presented at the national meeting of the American Chemical Society in Boston also noted that strawberries and acai berries are believed to slow related cognitive decline as they preserve the brain's natural housekeeper mechanisms that also help to eliminate toxic proteins that play a role in age-related memory loss. Our second food that we're gonna to discuss today is wild salmon. Salmon and other deep water fish have a lot of those omega-3 essential fatty acids that we discussed in our last video. And these essential fatty acids, as you know, are necessary for brain health. Salmon is easy to come by at any supermarket and can be cooked in a variety of ways. But the best sources of salmon are wild caught fresh salmon. And so you wanna avoid farm raised fish, including farm raised salmon. And so the omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon have anti-inflammatory substances that protect the brain from inflammation, which can lead to cognitive decline. And you can also get omega-3 fatty acids from other fatty fish, such as heron and sardines. So try to eat at least a four ounce serving of fatty fish like salmon, herring, or sardines at least two to three times a week for optimal brain health. Our third food is nuts and seeds. So nuts and seeds are high in vitamin E, which leads to a reduction in age-related cognitive decline. So just one ounce of sunflower seeds contains 30% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin E. And the benefit of vitamin E for brain health is found more in food than in supplements. So good nuts and seeds to eat include at least an ounce a day in various food items like flax seeds, walnuts, Brazilian nuts, hazelnuts, almonds, filberts, peanuts, cashews, sesame seeds, or even sunflower seeds. You can also get vitamin E from tahini, almond butter, or peanut butter. But be aware of the high salt content of many of these nuts and try to get these nuts unsalted if you can. Our next food are dark leafy greens. So your kales, your collard greens, spinach, broccoli are also great sources of vitamin E and just a half a cup of cooked spinach provides 25% of your daily requirement for vitamin E. Dark greens also have folate, which is believed to lower that level of amino acid called homocysteine, which we talked about in our last video, which plays a key role in the death of nerve cells in our brain. And so our fifth food is avocados. Avocados are excellent for brain health. It's high in monosaturated fat, which helps improve blood flow to the brain. 
Avocados also lower your blood pressure, and high blood pressure has been found to be a risk factor for age-related cognitive decline. And because avocados are not a low-calorie food, you wanna make sure to eat a fourth or half of an avocado a day. So our sixth food is whole grain foods. So whole grain foods include foods such as brown rice, oatmeal, and whole grain breads. Whole grain foods actually lower the risk of heart disease and also improve blood flow to the brain. Wheat germ is also good for you because it contains omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. So try eating a half a cup of whole grain cereal or two to three slices of bread or a couple of tablespoons of wheat germ every day. And that's as long as you're not gluten sensitive or have a wheat allergy. Number seven on our list are beans. Beans are good because they help to regulate your blood glucose levels. And the brain uses glucose for fuel and requires a steady state of blood sugar as opposed to those peaks and valleys that some foods provide, such as refined sugars. So just about any bean or legume will actually help to regulate blood sugar levels but lentils and black beans are considered some of the best. So try eating a half a cup of beans every day to support your brain health. Number eight is pomegranate juice. So pomegranates are also high in antioxidants, which help fight oxygen-free radicals in the brain. The brain is very sensitive to oxygen-free radicals and needs the antioxidant properties of foods such as pomegranate and pomegranate juice in order to prevent cellular damage. Citrus foods will also do, and berries, as we talked about blueberries, but also blackberries, strawberries, and acai berries. So for better brain health, with pomegranate juice, you'd wanna drink at least two ounces of pomegranate juice, and you can dilute this with seltzer water or spring water and have that drink every day to support your brain health. Number nine on our list is fresh brewed tea. Tea contains caffeine which is actually good for the brain if used in moderation. Caffeine can actually improve focus, mood, and memory. And tea is also high in antioxidants, particularly the catechins, which maximize blood flow to the brain. And the best tea to drink is freshly brewed tea from fresh leaves. And my favorite tea is green tea. And our last food that we'll discuss today to optimize your brain health, number 10, is dark chocolate, another one of my favorites. Dark chocolate is also rich in antioxidants and contains caffeine, which can improve your concentration and focus. Caffeine can also improve endorphin production, which can maximize your mood. And all it takes is about a half to one ounce of dark chocolate per day to get the maximum benefit of dark chocolate. Moderation is key since chocolate is not a low calorie food. So those are the top 10 foods that you should be eating to support your brain health. And one of the things that we've talked about is the Mediterranean diet. And this diet actually incorporates all of these foods. Remember, the Mediterranean diet is rich in whole grains, olive oil, fish, nuts, leafy greens and vegetables, and not only supports brain health throughout life, but also reduces the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So make sure to incorporate numerous bright colored fresh fruits, vegetables, especially berries, along with herbs and spices such as ginger, cinnamon, turmeric, which contain key antioxidants that will help lower levels of harmful inflammation and support brain health. It'll also help to reduce oxidative stress that leads to premature aging. So if you missed our last video where we talked about the key nutrients for brain health, we also talked about the e-guide or e-book that I've created called Food for Thought, where we go over the key nutrients for brain health and the key foods. In there, there are also some links to some awesome recipes where you can incorporate these different nutrients and foods and perhaps incorporate them into your holiday meals. So if you missed it, I'll make sure to put a link to that free ebook guide, Food for Thought, down in the description. So make sure to grab your free guide today.
Are there any foods that you incorporate into your diet to help to optimize your brain health? I'd love to hear about it. Drop it down in the comment section below because we learn from sharing each other's experiences. And as always, I thank you for watching. I wish you well on your mental health care journey and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.